We are recording. If you are seeing this, I'm still alive. What do you think I was going to say? I'm dead? Jesus. But I got asked the other day, why? What's what's your favorite tool in your toolbox? What's what's the most tool you use a lot? What's the most tool you use? What's what's the tool you use a lot? What's your favorite? And to that, I had no clue. So I just stared at him with a stupid face and said, I really don't know. So that's, that's what this video is going to be. I guess trying to figure out what my favorite tool in my toolbox is. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, I don't know what my favorite tool is. In the toolbox, not the angle grinder or the, the I don't know, the power tools. What's in my toolbox, physically, in my toolbox. Still nothing in this drawer. Um, it's... Like, yes, it would be. It, it's hard to figure out, you know? Because you got. Like, there's there's so many. There's too many. No, it's not. It's not enough. That's what it is. And it's just. Then the factor comes in. How often do you use that tool? How often do you. Like, open that drawer that your tool is in? How often do you maintain that tool? And like how all those come in the factor of your favorite tool or how often do you use it? So that's what kinda kinda's getting me here. But I almost wanna say what the tool I use the most. By this crappy guy. It's like your. It's your regular. Oh, there's my other two amp hour battery. It was still my other drill. Oh, I've been looking for that. This is the one. If you watch my garage sale video, I got that. I got this for seven bucks. Maybe it sounds a bit better than. This is the new one I got not too long ago. This we finally found out what's wrong with it. That doesn't go on the first. Once you put any. It don't sound too good, does it? That's the only problem with it, besides the dirt and those caked into it. Which still works perfectly fine. Now I use that. Because. Like I have wire brushes and like see I'm doing bigger drill bits and whatnot. And of course that's gonna be a lot harder on the new drill. And I'd like to keep that for as long as I can. But with this old crappy one, it's just like, hey, who cares? Because I have wire brush brass I don't know what you want to call it I completely forgot the name of it but see I'm wire brushing something for restoration clean something off my vice my anvil or something use a wire brush but here's the thing that doesn't sound good it's got a bit of a knock to it when it's, but here, I'll show you. It's only with the... You put three quarters drill bit in it. It only does it with the big wire brush. Which is... Weird, but at the same time, like, that drill bit is heavier than that wire brush. So it kind of... 
Fire brush is like the lightest thing ever. That three quarter drill bit is a lot more heavier. But my favorite tool would be this the crappy drill. And it was an absolute steal because I already had batteries for it and it was a 20 volt. Like, you don't just pass that up for seven bucks when you have the batteries for it. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's a stupid thing to do. Now that was my favorite tool. And now the tool I use the most, or was that my favorite? Is it? Oh man, now we're just. Now the tool I use the most. Yeah, yeah. The tool I use the most that is physically in my toolbox. something in my eyeball there. This little guy. Yeah, it's one of those cheap, crappy screwdrivers that you can switch them out. But it's it's so handy because when you're doing something with it, so you got your smaller Phillips, you're like, what do you call that, number two? You got your number three. Then you flip her around. You got your Phillips. Or your flathead. Still, it's light, and in a pinch, you can use it as the dead blow mallet too for all the plastic and whatnot. That's what I usually do. But I've had this thing since. I've had this thing since I got the my first green toolbox right here. I've had it since then, and it works like for how cheap it is or was. It it's like perfect because I when I, I don't find myself using a screwdriver that often. Well, I do. You get what I mean. When I am using it, this is what I use. So it's got all the options I need right in here. I've got screwdrivers right down in here, and this little. Right there, you could say. I hardly ever use those. So I got this little guy right here. This literally does everything. I was gonna this cool little guy I found the other day too. It's like a ratchet. But that's that's probably what I use most. And since we're on the tool that I use the most, let's go to the opposite of the tool I use the least and the tool I hate. Which that I really don't know either, but I'm going to go through the drawers here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I already found it. <laughs> if you, all of you will understand the pain if you've had a cheapy, a cheapy, wow. A cheap, crappy pair of these wire cutters. They're just garbage. There's no excuse. They're garbage. Like, every time, like, say, can we, let me cut this electrical cord while I'm doing some splicing and whatnot. Can we just, oh, he's right by me. I can just attempt to. Those were the one of the first pairs I got, too. <laughs> I know I got the these little guys. These are amazing. I would recommend getting a pair of these little or the wire cutters and steroids. Really nice. That's the tool I probably hate the most or don't use. It kind of falls into both, but I really hate it. I'm pretty sure the blades on are dull jaws. Now to the tool I do not use that I have not touched in my toolbox in like forever. <laughs> my ratchet. The story behind this is it's an actual crescent too. It is crescent. Cool. Just 
know, for the handle. But there was one Christmas I remember getting this, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but like, you, if you get a ratchet set, you don't turn a ratchet set down, you know that. Because you never know when you can use it. It's always good to have tools upon tools upon tools. But I was just like, I've, I've only maybe used it a handful of times. And half of those times were tearing apart lawnmowers, push mowers that shot on the long side of the road. Getting grease all in my arms, my shirt, and getting yelled at my mom. But hey, whatever works. It's about the only time I really use this. I want sockets too. But. It's probably, like, I like it. It's nice. It's nice ratchet. But it's just, I never use it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, also the <laughs> forgot about these. <laughs> I remember when I first started blacksmith and whatnot, I got these. A whole set of chisels and punches. A really nice set too. That I started out using. And I still wonder why I need a chisel that big. I got all these little guys when I first started. And I was like, yeah, I'll use these every single time probably for origin or something, you know? I'm gonna get good use out of these. I only used two until I said, punching kind of sucks. Chiseling's okay, but punching kind of sucks. Then I ended up putting them away in my toolbox, forgetting about them, and I got like a whole entire, like, five, six chisels and punches over there that I never use anyways. These are brand new, too. <laughs> like I said, you don't get rid of your tools. So look at this beefy little turd. Like, no clue what I'd ever use this for. It's like 10 inches long. It's probably like, it's an inch wide in it. Yeah, it's an inch. 10 inches long by an inch, or thickness. Which it's, I can never find myself using this. That was a lie. I could always find myself using this. But in a realistic situation, no, I'd probably never use it. It's just one of those things that you've acquired over the years, and you. I guess you could just say I, you have it. That type of thing, I guess. <laughs> but. planer I found a long time ago back in garage sailing days <laughs> ball shut up this I restored it it was all rusty it wouldn't even move I restored it and I used it about twice I was testing it basically and then I said yeah this is kind of stupid so there it sits Favorite, not favorite, terrible, worst tool, favorite tool, tool that works every single time when I need it. The tool that does that, that works every single time when I need it, would probably be the bolt cutters. Because it's, like, no matter if they're smaller bolt cutters like these I picked up the other day, or they're huge bolt cutters like these, which I can probably take these bolt cutters and break these bolt cutters with them, but really nice and handy to have around. Not just for cutting locks and whatnot, but well, your 3 8 will cut 3 8 and tiny your stuff, say you're breaking up aluminum pins, you know, just, like it's so versatile. It's also a great destruction tool too. It's got like 
hammer sides and just break the crap out of stuff. It's a great find for a dumpster. So. It's probably the tool I can rely on like 99% of the time. I can rely on that, but I cannot rely on these pieces of garbage. Here, there's some wire in here I can cut. Let's see, if I use the, these little guys, I can just boop, snip right through that. Okay, so these these are your traditional wire cutters you will find anywhere. Ugh. Got about focus. You get the point. There we go. Got it. So my palm of my hand hurts now. I have to use these little guys. I can just... You get the point. Now I've made a mess. It's just these are like I'm trying to like use a wire brush as a toothbrush. It doesn't work. But for some odd reason, I still have them. But on another note, thank you for uh, listening to me. I guess. And uh, I will see you again. <laughs>